Hello, so we are back and this time with a review. I'm looking for a long time to review one of the Geekcom uh, mini PCs. This one in particular, it's a AI7 and we have a Ryzen 9 CPU. So this is kind of a little monster. Now, Geekcom is a company they uh, are uh, on the market from about 20 years and uh, they are trying to compete with uh, eco-friendly products like this one, where power consumption and performance uh, is important. I know Geekcom anniversary, 21 anniversary, it's on the uh, 12th of June. So uh, let's review this uh, mini PC. Now I'm more curious about what is inside yeah? and what kind of uh, improvements we can do. Now opening the box, and we have the mini PC. We have a SD card. You know, this is beautiful. When I see the manufacturers, actually, they are fitting a SD card. I mean, I have my Canon and, uh, you know, always um, on my computer, I have to use like an um, adapter, SD card adapter. Beautiful mini PC. So what do we have here? We have two USB-C, we have two HDMI ports, and I know they support 4K each. And USB 4.0 and USB 2.0. And a network port, 2.5 gigabytes per second. The charger is a standard one, Acer, Asus, laptop charger, 19 volts. And we have a thank you card, I can't believe pretty nice when you open a product and you see a thank you card yeah so what do we have here we have a power adapter 19 volt 6.3 amps so basically you know probably it will work with any laptop charger this is kind of toshiba asus uh, now here we have a hdmi uh, cable we have the power cable and we have the this amount for, uh, you know, you can fit this mini PC on the back of the monitor. And of course, here you have the manual. So I will say, let's test it. You know what? I forgot. Yeah, here are another uh, two uh, USB 4.0. And also you have a headphones connector. And this is beautiful again. So headphones connector and SD card. This is a must. Okay, let's plug it and see what uh, this little monster can do. So we have the HDMI from the microscope. And we have picture. Now first, the specification, we have a Windows 11, uh, we have a AMD Ryzen 9, 7 series. We have AMD graphics, we have a DDR5 memory and Wi-Fi 6E. Now on the settings, the output is uh, 4K, 60 FPS. We have 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte uh, SSD. On device manager, we can see we have the AMD Radeon 7A0M uh, graphics. Now let's uh, run Cinebench R23 and let's see the score. Meanwhile, let's pay attention on the, on the temperatures and the clock. So we have a steady clock over 4 GHz. The CPU reach uh, 92 degrees. But that's okay because that's how the mini PC are working. Same like the laptops, as uh, soon as the CPU is reaching the max temperature, they need to lower the clock in order to hold the temperature down. And that's fine, nothing wrong with that. I believe in a case you are not actually testing the CPU, uh, the clock should be over 5 gigahertz here. And we have 12,621, the score from uh, the Cinebench R23, which is impressive. Now let's run a more aggressive uh, benchmark, R15. And it's going. This uh, R15 is very, very aggressive. Uh, is going up to like 53 watts. Yeah, it done it. 
2390 points. Now, maybe for you, 2,319 points mean nothing on Cinebench R15. But just to make a, a just a, a comparison, yeah? So I will uh, change the scene to my PC, which is this one, yeah? Good. Now, what do I have here? I have a 4,900 uh, deleted and liquid metal. So all what I get is like uh, 5,362. So this mini PC is like half of uh, the Intel 14900K, which is it, it's impressive. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. So yeah, I am impressed by this uh, small mini PC. I will say, let's open and uh, let's have a look inside. Let's see what we have there. Now we have four screws. Let's take the screws out. This is coming out, yes. A big chunk of metal. So actually you can fit like a normal SSD here, right? Yeah. So check here. Proper nice. So we have an M2 drive. We have the RAM memory on the slot. So we can upgrade it to, like, let's say, like 64 gig if you want 64. But even 32, it's a lot. Uh, we can't see more from here. I will say, let's go further and let's open and check the CPU heatsink, CPU fan. And let's see what uh, can be improved there. So we have two screws here. We need to take the M2 drive because the Wi-Fi antenna is under the M2 drive. I'm assuming this is the BIOS battery. And the board, it's out. We have a nice fan. Check here. Check here. Proper nice. Let's have a look. Let's see. The fan is out. We have the BIOS battery here. And we have a nice heatsink. BIOS chip here. We have a Realtek chip here, I believe, it is the audio chip. So the heatsink, it's out. Huh? Proper nice. And we have the DRMOS there and we have a heatsink. Proper nice. So we have the CPU here, the AMD. Power supplies. I'm assuming this is a Thunderbolt controller. We have a current sensor here. I don't know what this chip is. We have the, the CPU uh, uh, DRMOS driver. We have the IT chip, check here, the IT chip. Nice, sexy, little IT chip. Now here is the charging port. And the charging port, we have two inductors. Uh, after the inductor, we have one MOSFET, then we have the current sensor. Uh, those little uh, mini PC, they don't need two input MOSFETs because they don't have the battery. On a normal laptop, you have a second MOSFET to stop the battery voltage to go out to the charging port. So one MOSFET is enough. Then we have the current sensor here. Now, on any mini PC or laptop, you have two limits. One is the temperature. Soon as the CPU is reaching a certain temperature, around 100 degrees, then the clock, it will be lower. Then uh, the second limit is the power. So uh, I'm, I'm just thinking we can get rid of, of the power limit 
and uh, I believe we can use uh, liquid metal here so we can uh, get rid a little bit from the temperature limit and maybe we can push the performance a little bit higher now we have a clean CPU and a clean heatsink just a little bit of liquid metal Okay, so the CPU is bonded to a liquid metal. And the heatsink is ready. Okay, so I solder a wire over the current sensor. In this way, uh, the system, it will take more power than usual, but before seeing actually is taking more power. So basically what we did, we increase uh, the power limit. Now, all what is left is to put the heatsink back. We have liquid metal there. Now the fan, all back in place. Let's plug the Wi-Fi antenna. And now the M2 drive. And we are ready. Now, if I would be to go a little bit further, here is the back of the CPU. So we can use like uh, thermal pads like this one and try to reach this metal from the top so we can actually improve the cooling even more. But let's leave it like that for a moment. Perfect, we are ready for testing. Let's see R23, pressing start. And we have a 4.5 gigahertz. The temperature, it's about 80 degrees. Yeah, we haven't reached like the red limit. The fan starts spinning very fast, but we are still fine, 83 degrees. And we got 16,542. Huh? What do you think about that? Now let's move to the R15, which is more aggressive. Let's run the test. We have max power. The temperature is going quickly up, but it's not reaching anymore uh, max temperature. 2657. Huh? So we did improve the system or not? Just tell me. Hmm? So you see, we only with uh, small tricks we can uh, easily improve, like basically any system, but especially those uh, small uh, mini PCs where uh, we have a lot of leverage playing with, uh, with the powering and uh, the temperature. On daily use, let's do a speed test with the Wi Fi 6E. 480 megabytes per second. I think that's the max speed I have here. Now let's see the SSD speed. And we have like five uh, gigahertz uh, clock, 5.1 actually. And we have uh, nearly five gigabytes uh, read. We have like 4.9 gigabytes per second read and 4.2 gigabytes per second uh, write, which is fantastic for PCI uh, 4.0. Perfect. Now playing video on YouTube, uh, we are playing on 2.5K, but it's not even dropping a sweat. Now, what is the use of this mini PC? Uh, you have a GPU there, so you can game. Probably not heavy games, but you can game like, uh, you know, light games. That will be no issue. Uh, office work, office work, this it will be like like insanely fast. Based on the SSD speed, uh, you can expect to be like a normal PC. You'll not even feel actually it's a mini PC. What I will use it? Uh, you know what? I always wish to have a dedicated streaming PC. So I can, you know, fit a capture card and use this as a dedicated streaming PC. So that's what I will do with this one. This it will be my next streaming PC. So uh, please check the description. 
you'll find the links there. You'll find a, a coupon from where you can uh, buy it and you can have actually a discount code. I would say uh, thank you, Geekcom, for uh, this beautiful mini PC. Also, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.